I interviewed you in Houston. You were fighting cancer. You know, you were uh, you were you were beating cancer at the time. Right. Um, and so, how did that end up? You know, far as far as are you still dealing with that now? Man, I'm I'm pretty much done with it. But there's a there's a there's a new drug, right? Okay. Uh, how do you pronounce my key Trudor? Key Trudor, for example. So I got my chemo port right here. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. Yeah, we gon' talk. Say, man, we come down here to celebrate E's birthday with him. Wow. It's your birthday. Man, I you know what I want. Man. My birthday. Say, I, track, I do man. what I he want. Is it's it's my birthday. I ain't to music like an idiot. <laughs> But, but I heard going the on. music, man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Well, you, you got new music even in the hospital, man. Yeah, man. <laughs> yeah, I, still, I, 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 got a, I got a studio under my bed. Hey, you man. Know what I'm saying? So hey, I'm man. But on a, on a, on a, on a note, real note, man, just want to show love to, you know, me and you. We done did a few interviews now, man. You like uh -huh. my favorite interviewer, man. Like me and you, <laughs> we, we just like hand and glove, man. We gonna make it work. You, you know what I'm saying? You, Keep you each other bro, right. You my bro, you my bro, bro. Like, I didn't hesitate the first time. Not man. at all. Make you a freestyle god. Give us the. I want to hear the in depth why. I mean, for example, Southside still holding. That was no pen and pay. Southside still holding. No pen and pay. No pay. Straight through freestyle. See, I can freestyle verses. I can freeze some of my songs is just straight freestyle. You know what I'm saying? I be noticing a lot of artists sometimes they be like, you know what I'm saying? Like, who is this? Who they got? Who is this? I didn't give a damn who you had did or not. It was just that I had already seen you just putting in work. Yeah, you know yeah, what I'm saying? yeah, yeah. And I know how it is with especially with this grind, for yeah. example. I can go to a concert, I can I can drop a mixtape, I can drop a song, I could go to a, and get a feature. Yeah, 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 yeah. You, on the other hand, you got to work triple yeah, I what I got to do. Hard. You feel what I'm saying? To make sure other people want to be uh, engaged with you and, right. and, and sponsorships. And a lot of times people don't understand it. You no, feel what I'm saying? They don't. They think the SD card cheap. <laughs> You know, but you know, and, and like the top it off, you know, us and our relationship with Big Tony. You know, yeah, I, I, you know, that that that's the thing that made it to where it drove me to you first. Cause you used to always come down and I'll play our hometown, right. and you would perform. So, but before that, it was in Jefferson, you were Jefferson, Jefferson. Town. I don't know but, why I always want to. But get I'm, I'm from Smithland, but I always would be there with with Big Tony, cause that's that's my boy. But Marshall right up the street, that yeah, that's what that. did. But the thing Jefferson. is, you always show man love to everybody in the South, man. Like you do, man. So I always, I'm, I'm a true southerner, so swinging and banging and all that stuff, I came up with that. So I just don't play about that. You know, when people mention their top five albums, that's one of my top five, and a lot of people don't do that, because we from the South. Right. I got to make it known, we ain't playing no games about these down here. Say, you know what I'm saying? Say, man, I seen, I seen a list on Instagram the other day. Uh, uh, it was the top ten most influential albums out of Houston. Really? Man, once I seen number one and two, I just ain't want to see the rest of the exactly list. Exactly, because I think it's, it's going to be a little bias to to to, yeah. to, to, to age, to, to culture, to, to people, where they from, they all had, that. They had Face Out and Ghetto Boys out. And then everything else, a lot of the other stuff was just like some, I, you know, it took everything in me not to come in on there. Oh, I don't know why man, it feel like, it feel like I got a pinky ring on. <laughs> <laughs> this is my oh, this is my oxygen monitor. Man, yeah, it took everything on me, like you know what I'm saying. Sometimes not you just to say got nothing. no, cause I, you know, I, I got overlooked a lot of times, but. That's what the fuel me to go That's to where I'm going. You. you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And it's like people try to throw things at the arm. And a lot of the time we 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 self, you know what I'm saying? Almost self destruct sometimes. That's right. You know what I'm saying? That's right. Like, I done dropped the goddamn grenade on my foot. Yeah, you know yeah, 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 yeah. We do you it on our own, so you got to be careful. So you got to be careful. So, but music wise, I hate to say this, man. God brought me through a bunch of just a bunch, a bunch of, things. of things, yeah. And the reason he did it, I'm telling you, a journalist told me, a couple of journalists, uh -huh. they say, hey, as 
journalists, writers, we 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 want to see you as the next representative of the South. Wow. As of the same way PMC the Rick Ross. Yeah, up, yeah. Because you never got your just. No, no. You and, and you deserved it because, like I say, lyrically and just the culture. You are you are the, you're the culture. So I got you know I'm gonna tap in just a little bit. And I'm gonna die this when I get out of here. Say, hey, look out, man. Don't do that, man. We don't disrespect. I'm just to live that. I can't. I, I, it just for certain shows because I cannot have. When, <laughs> when I, I, you know, I'm a, I'm a real. I'm gonna tell you. Last year when I had got a DWI, they didn't come up to me talking about what's up, school. I said, say, nigga, school, nigga. Ain't nothing old school about me, but some money. Don't call me old school. They see gray hair. They think everybody in school. I got a homeboy. He they do me like that. He's 24 years old. He's full of gray hair. But I would just do that for the youngsters who are doing on the understand. Let me ask you this, man. I really like like with you going through it. I interviewed you in Houston where you were fighting cancer. You know, you were uh-huh. you were you were beating cancer at the time. Right. Um and so how did that end up, you know, far as far as oh you still dealing with that now? Man, I'm I'm pretty much done with it. But there's a there's a there's a new drug, right? Okay. Uh, how do you pronounce mine? Key Trudel? Key Trudel. Key for example. So I got my chemo put right here. Okay. So I had colon cancer. Okay. So they cut the big ass, big ass hole, cut the tumor out. And right before I was finna start chemo, my back kept hurting. See, that's what drove me to the hospital. Yeah. I was like, man, my back kept hurting. And then all of a sudden, you know, I couldn't urinate. It yeah. was like, ah! Everything when you like, like, like ah. yeah. When I'm visiting my mom, I go to the hospital. They give me some damn STD. Uh, like I say, man, man, I ain't got burned. I say, they ain't dead. Yes. Yeah. So when I get back to Houston and, and, and come to find out, uh, I had a little bit of small tumor okay. blocking my bladder, bladder. Yeah, in my bladder. So that's when they gave me the nephrostomy bags and the key trudel. They say, I didn't need chemo. Yeah. They say, I could take the key trudel and be, and, you know what I'm yeah. saying, and beat it that way because it was so small. Yeah. So I started taking the treatments. You you come for an hour, uh, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And they just they stick put through the IV. Yeah, IV in you. So after the, after the second one, uh, man, I pissed like 30 times. Yeah, 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 yeah. In one, like, in, within an hour or two. Wow. You know what I'm saying? So the doctor was like, he was like, I, I called the doctor like something wrong. He was like, "No, nah, that's great." He, he said, "I can't believe you're supposed to do that." He said, "That mean is is shrinking out the way." Yeah, man. So I, I had two treatments left. He said, "After these two treatments, we should be fine. We should, you should be done." Uh-huh. There's a company that's regulating uh, insurance companies. Yeah, and, and what happened was the company the company told my insurance company we're gonna no longer. Uh, approve of the key truder because it's really made for lung cancer yeah. and it's not proven that it works for other cancers. Yeah. But all the doctors know it, it works, works for, for other cancers. cancers. Yeah. And it costs $7,000 a shot. Oh, it's go, oh they're going to they gonna, they gonna you know hit what I'm you. Saying? So, so, Ain't going to be no getting uh, it for easy. Yeah, so they were tripping on that and then <clears throat> the um, so you know I don't have man at first, you know what I'm saying, I used to be in pain, pain, pain. Man, once I came home, there was no pain. You know what I'm saying? No they pain. tried to give me like narco. First, they tried to give me morphine pill. Yeah. I didn't understand. <clears throat> I did not understand what the doctor told me. But the doctor told me, he said, this is what it sounded like, he said. Take one in the morning, afternoon, in the evening, and at night, and whenever. <laughs> like he wanted you to constantly take them. That's, that's what he told me. That's what it sounded like he said. But what he really meant was, take one when you wake up. If you have any pain, you take day, another. Man, I took five of them. I'm in the truck like that. <laughs> Don't know what niggas going on. <laughs> My son was like, Daddy, what's wrong with you? I was like, man, man. I said, man, take me to the hospital. Yeah. So, you know what I'm saying? So, narcos, I don't want oxygen and all that. You know what I'm saying? They sent me back to the hospital twice. So, I just took straight Tylenol. Uh, they gave me, told me to take some, eat some CBD edibles. You know 
Wow. So, I, you, so know, you were cool with that. I was great with that. <laughs> but I, you know what I'm saying? Them boys get just, they ain't going to lie. Them boys got high. Yeah. I don't like edibles. No, no. But they, 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 how they do you? Yeah, that's a stomach high, man. I don't like them edibles. That shit, that shit, that shit, that shit. So I just took straight time now and prayed. Boom. It feel good. It feel wow. Good. You know what I'm saying? I mean, yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gon' talk.